Hey Capricorn, welcome to Queen Airbender the Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of February general love reading. Now, keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So when I was meditating over you guys' energy, the song that I heard was, what is this? Cradle to, the name of the song is Cradle to the Grave, okay, by Tupac. I'll leave the link to that song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, the part of the song that I heard was a hook. And um, what did it say? Something about starting every day, life ain't never been easy. From the cradle to the grave, life ain't never been easy living in the ghetto. Some of you guys could be dealing with a love interest who has a poverty mind frame, okay? And that's what I heard very strong initially. Like, this person feels like, you know, I, I came from nothing. I can only aspire to have so much. And it may be a subconscious thought pattern that they don't even know that they have. It's like, you may push your person to be more or to show them how talented or gifted they are. And you could be as supportive as you want to be, but I feel like this person doesn't get it. And this is causing conflicts in you guys' relationships because it's like it's leaving the workload or the bulk of something for you to deal with. Because I feel like also it's becoming a bit of a turnoff to you because I, Capricorns, one thing about I know about a Capricorn, okay? You guys don't play that shit when it comes to your money. You don't play that when it comes to your stability. You don't play that when it comes to your ambitions and goals. Of all 12 signs, Capricorns are by far some of the hardest working people, period. You guys put your everything, your all, your efforts, your energy, your resources into whatever it is you feel very strongly about. So to have a partner who is not showing that same energy, I feel like it's going to cause some, some tension in this relationship, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. You had strong water, Cancer by Scorpio, and air energies in your pre-shuffle, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? So let's change the card at the top and the bottom of the deck. We will do the same for your clarifiers. And as always, there's absolutely no reversals in either one of my decks. So once I start shuffling, if I get reversals, I will read it as such. So currently at the bottom of the deck, you have the star card, wish fulfillment and healing. And what I'm getting with this is some of you guys really want to heal this person. You want to help this person heal this poverty mindset. Now, this a situation when it comes to your monetary lifestyle and abundance could have come to a head in Aquarius season, which we are still currently in. Some of you guys could also be very intuitive because if you notice right here, her third eye chakra is like a glow right there. And you see how you have these two little things on the side, these little nodules. It, it looks like my third, you know, my um evil eye ring. So some of you guys, okay. So some of you guys are like, the devil is a lie. I'm hearing that energy like, you know, the evil eye, that's protection from the evil eye, protection from negative thoughts, protection from negative energy coming your way. And some of you guys are like, stop thinking like this. Stop feeling as though you don't have what it takes to be a star, like the star card. Some of you guys are dealing with someone who has star qualities written all over them and they're not allowing themselves to flourish is what I'm getting. And some of you all are trying to help feed them. It's like you're watering them. You see how she's pouring the water from the vases? You're watering them, trying to show them how talented they are. And how much they do have star qualities that could lead them to some type of abundance. But this person is just sitting. Literally just sitting on some type of skills and gifts is what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. So let's see. We and, and she's nude also. Nudity talks about vulnerability. Rawness. Somebody is not ready to deal with that level of vulnerability. Is what I'm getting. Okay. So let's go ahead and go through the deck. Until we get your major arcana. Which would be the devil card. We will get the card that comes before. And the card that comes after. And then we'll get clarifies for both for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Some of you guys got some spirit guides around you right now. Very, yeah, very strong spirit guides. Some of you guys could be feeling like weird energy around you. It may even make you feel uncomfortable. Because I, I literally, I'm feeling that right now. Like some of you guys have, that's what, when you're feeling like this uncomfortable, you know how you have the energy, like you could be in the house by yourself alone, but you could just feel like there's a presence there. You guys have spirit guides with you right now trying to help you get through some difficult times, especially if you're married to this individual. You may be considering leaving this relationship because it, it feels like it's a burden is what I'm getting. And you have spirit guides there to guide you along this journey moving forward. So now currently at the bottom of the deck, yeah, seven of swords, lying, cheating, manipulated, sneak, conniver. I'm also getting very strong also that in the door, this person did not show this part of them. They didn't show those 
those character traits that they were very lax and very comfortable with being comfortable, if that makes sense. Like I'm, I'm a Gemini sun. Okay. My moon is in Taurus and my rising is in Virgo. So I don't do comfortable. I don't, I don't like feeling comfortable being comfortable. And even though Taurus is a fixed sign, so you would think like, yes, you are. No, the hell I'm not. When it comes to my finances and things like that, I'm never going to be comfortable just being stagnant. Because Taurus also regards over your finances, your monetary comforts. Yes, I like being comfortable in my, what I've acquired, but I don't feel like I should just be set in one certain way. And abundance is a big thing for me. So for some of you guys, it's one of those things where it's like, you don't like that somebody is set in their ways of just being comfortable as is. And, you, and some of you all may feel like you were lied to because this person came off as very ambitious, very goal-oriented. And you find out that, yeah, this, this person kind of got me. Slick as a fox. Because this person is not who they came off or who they portrayed themselves to be. Okay? So let's go ahead and go through the deck and get your major arcana again. The devil and the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I feel like there was some deception. Like you felt like this person was something other than what they really are. Or that's how they came off as like this ambitious, goal-oriented individual. And now that you're in their energy and you're with them long-term, you realize like, yeah, this is fraudulent, okay? So here you go right here, right in front of it. Again, it's so interesting. I was literally just talking about how I'm a Taurus moon. Some of you guys may have a Taurus moon also. You have a Queen of Pentacles Taurus, okay? Right behind that you have Major Arcana, the Chariot, Cancer Energy. And behind this, what do we have? Yep. Four of Cups. What they were showing you is not truly who they really are. And you're becoming quite exhausted with this situation is what I'm getting. Because it's like he's looking at that cup, but he's not reaching out for it. You're not you're not buying what they're selling anymore. You see it for what it is. Possibly over the last one, two, three years, this person has been showing their true colors. And now you're really seeing, you see how all these cups are small and this is a big cup. Now you're realizing like this is some bullshit. Also, some of you guys could be realizing that this person could be quite emotional. Because you have cups, that's your emotions and feelings. Now, with your surrounding cards, I really feel like matters in regards to your stability and abundance is a big factor. Because you see how the devil is facing that. And I, I'm going to say this again. Some of you all are thinking about, mm, I might want to get up out of this jam. I might want to get up out of here. Okay? Because the chair is for it moving. Going in a different direction. That's major arcana. So, that's a definite energy. Some of you guys are kind of feeling like, yeah, if this is going to cost me. Pentacles, cost, value. If this is gonna cost me my pay, my my finances, my stability, my peace, I'm gonna get up out of here. Okay. And and also with the chariot, that's a motherly energy. Also we're here because you know it's cancer. That's a motherly energy. Some of you all could feel like more like a mother than a partner to this individual, especially for the female. You know, female energies out there. And when I say mother, because keeping my cancer. Water and earth are feminine energies. Fire and air are masculine. And that's feminine energy. So you could be a male, but you could just have a very nurturing nature about you. And you could just feel like all you, you just have to pay and take care of everything with no assistance. And this, this person may feel more like a responsibility than a partner. Okay. So let's get a clarifier. Bottom of the deck, two of wands. I'm going to say again, some of you all are deciding like, okay, which direction am I going to go in? Because that's what two of wands need to make a decision about whether they're going to leave something behind or move forward. Okay. Could be done with a fire sign, Leo, Sage, Aries. Let's go ahead and part. Woo! You just had this, remember? You had it twice. Somebody has definitely been duped. Somebody has been duped. Okay. Um, and finding out that, you know, now you are officially in a circus. Like, this person may be a bit of a clown. Okay. Uh-oh. So... Let's let you guys clarify this. I want to see what's, what's going on here, Caps. Let's get clarify for the Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like a lot of you all are the Queen of Pentacles. Could be dealing with Leo, okay? Because you do have two of wands. And then you have the strength card, okay? Um, Queen of Pentacles and the chariot is what we're clarifying. Three of swords in reverse. And then again, the strength card. The opposite of strength is weakness. And somebody feels as though, you know... This person is love interest may be your weakness also, but you also may feel like they're very weak when it comes to their strengths. Like they're not playing up on their strengths the way that they could. Bottom of the deck. But I feel like ultimately some of you all may want to move away because you have water right here, cancer. But then you have the eight of cups in reverse, not wanting to walk away because of right. This is walking away from something in reverse. You may not completely leave this person, but there may be thoughts there. 
I'm really getting that somebody is not as ambitious as you thought they were. And they're not ambitious enough for you. Some of you guys could be planning for your future because that's moving towards the future. You could be trying to make plans for your future. And you just feel like it's all going to rest on your shoulders is what I'm getting. Let's get a clarifier for the Queen of Pentacles. Huh. And the uh, um, Chariot. Okay. A lot of you all. Okay. Look at that. Wow. You have a lot of Leo energy. Major Arcana strength card was Leo. And then you have the Sun card reverse Leo. And then I say you can feel like this person is more of a dependent than actually a partner. Like this person could have a juvenile nature about them. Sun card in reverse is, you know, the opposite of the sun is the moon. And the moon could deal with fears, um, anxieties, worries. Also illusion and confusion. But for your card right here, you have the Eight of Pentacles putting in the work. Let's see, we'll see. It seems like you're just shelling out all the finances because all this energy is you. You're doing all this work. And look at that. That one pinnacle that failed, this person is just right there waiting for you to put all the work in so that they can benefit from it. Ooh, okay. Yeah. And I'm going to say again, a lot of you guys are focused on your future and how to build things to establish some type of structure. Because you do have this clarifying the queen of pentacles, you know. I feel like it's just you guys doing a lot of the, the heavy lifting and the work. I'm just making sure no other cards flipped over. Again, you got at the bottom of the deck, you have the high priestess in reverse. You didn't trust your intuition. I feel like there were signs that something wasn't right or some there was something a little off with the situation. You and your person's first, middle, or last initial could be B, T, J, C, U, W, or M, also H. B T J C U M W also H. Okay. And this is Piscean energy right here. This is all knowing, all seeing. She can sense and feel things. So some of you guys intuitively kind of felt like something was off with this connection, but you would you continue to build and grow with this individual. You may have seen their strengths. Because it takes someone who has strength to carve, you know, manual labor to carve into these pinnacles here. So you may see this person's strengths and you know this person has gifts and abilities to build, but they're not putting the effort into it the way that you you know they're capable of doing. Let's get a clarifier for the chariot. Clarifier for the chariot for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. Okay, yeah. And then you have the full card. So full card in reverse. That's talking about taking a leap of faith into something new. That's Aries, also Aquarius energy. With the Fool in reverse, huh, Four of Pentacles in reverse, and then the Eight of Cups again in reverse. For some of you all, it's like this person is not, yes. Just like what I said with the hook of the song, from the cradle to the grave, life ain't never been easy living in the ghetto. The Fool card reverse again, it's taking a leap of faith into something new, upright. In reverse, this person's like, I, I'm not moving forward into something new because all I know is poverty. All I know is you know, stagnancy, because even though she's on a chariot, it does not look like this chariot is moving forward. In fact, these sphinx here are stone, right? So it's like things are kind of at a standstill. They could move forward. You got two major arcanas, one clarifying another. Things could move forward, but this person isn't allowing things to go forward. And this is, you know, upright. This is someone who's taking nothing, starting from zero, taking nothing and making something out of it. And they and you're there because dogs, not calling you guys dogs, <laughs> but dogs here, that talks about loyalty, companionship. You're here by that side. You're ready to take that leap with them. But this person isn't even taking a leap. Also, like I said, this person can have a poverty mindset because if you notice here, he doesn't have anything but this one package, nothing more. The clothes on his back and this one little piece of luggage. So this person is so used to not having anything that they're comfortable with it, not allowing themselves to move forward into something new. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Wands in reverse again. Some of you guys are definitely dealing with a fire sign. Leo slash Aries. And any king or queen in reverse is negative because this person is not in their power. Kings and queens hold positions of power, hierarchy. They're well-respected, well-revered. To have this in reverse, this is somebody who is not living in their power. Okay? They actually have been dethroned and stripped of their title in reverse. Also, there could be something from their past. Okay? living growing up in some type of poverty could have stripped their confidence because you do have all this yellow right here and yellow deals with the solar plexus chakra and that's your seat and your root of confidence and self-esteem so something could have happened like even when they wanted to do something when they were younger or in their mid-20s or something like that and they said well, you know i want to i want to be a star 
I want to be a celebrity or I want to do this. I want to do that. And somebody's like, yeah, that, that, you can't do that. That's not going to happen for you. That's, that's never going to be your thing. And it fucked up their confidence. And so now they're no longer taking leaps of faith because they're like, every time I wanted to take a leap and wanted to start something new, I got knocked for it. So I'm just going to stick to what I know. Allowing yourself to be at a bit of a standstill at an impasse. Again, this is for a movement. Okay, because that's major arcana, so it's definite. But right now, it just looks like things are at a standstill, you know? And that's definitely the, the message that you have right here. Because the right, he's taking a leap in reverse. He's like, nope, going home. I ain't going away, you know? Okay? So, Capricorn, someone rising in Venus and the visuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.